Okay, let's talk about one of my favorite features in Ozone 5. Um, let's assume we need to uh, meter the two bus, which is a common thing, and we're going to usually find ozone either on the two bus or in mastering. I combine the two. That's another story. Uh, let's say we decide we really need to see what's going on with the spectrograph. And that's one of my favorite new fun tools. doesn't work for everything, but it works for a lot of things. Okay, and... Oh, man. Crap! All right, there we go. Okay, so I've frozen, a uh, very, very smart feature, uh, the uh, spectrograph here of, of, the, of the stereo bus. And that's useful. You can see we got the white uh, meaning um, we're pretty freaking loud down there. It's I already know it's 46 hertz. That's what I tune the kick to. Um, this is electronic music when he wants some of that big old bumping bass. Um, less common in metal and things, but although that's changing. <laughs> anyway, um, but let's say we had a problem where like, in this particular case, like I'm not really sure if the bass and kick are working. Now I've got it together. I've got a side chain I'm on the bass that's feed, fed by the kick, side chain compressor that is. And so every time the kick hits, you can hear the, the bass go. Wah, 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 wah. That's all covered in compression. If you're not familiar with that, don't worry about it really. What's important is, let's just say hypothetically, I wanted to visually see what's going on in that low end. And really, what I'm I'm mostly looking for is that I want that kick to be jump leaping through here i want it to be kind of white and i want the bass to be kind of leaving it alone and if there's just a big old mess of white of really really loud low end stuff i probably got a problem and again that's just visual we've been over the metering thing it's not a huge deal um but uh the point here is that we can let's turn off that we can look at the bass by itself uh on the meter through a feature called meter taps and i've got it here on the bass now i don't know where wherever that is okay uh, and what I did was I selected as an insert uh, isotope uh, meter tap. And that sends, uh, I guess, a signal to um, to ozone to deal with. And so let's look at just that. Yeah, side chain's off. Okay, so we can see what we're looking at right now with this... Uh, meter tap business in the spectrograph is just the base uh, very handy for as you could guess analyzing the base now let's say we just want to look at the kick I've got a meter tap on it as well and again uh, pretty cool uh, we can tell exactly what's going on on individual elements by using this meter tap business now, this is just one of the zillion features they stuff in Ozone 5. I don't think I've ever seen a product where they put this much stuff in it. In audio, it's really common. You'll see everybody wants to do vintage compressors like LA-2As that have uh, two knobs and things like that. And these guys at Ozone, uh, as far as I know, they're MIT guys, and they kind of act like it in a good way, uh, which is, I don't think there's a single bad way you could ever reference MIT. But anyway, uh, <laughs> getting off topic, but... Uh, there is so much stuff, usable, uh, just awesome stuff in here. And so if you don't hit the manual just to see, then you're going to miss out on 100,000 things. I'm glad I've taken my time doing this review because I've had it for you know several months now because I keep on finding more and more new stuff. And see, the, the Ozone 5 is not uh, liked on CPU use. You're, you're going to hammer it a little bit, um, even with a pretty fast processor. So it's really nice where if we wanted to take advantage of this awesome little spectrograph gadget, and you wanted to have it on 10 different tracks, well, I think 10, well, at least eight um, individual tracks, um, it, there's just no way you could run Ozone 5 on that many, um, so on many tracks, so it, it would kill your CPU. But by tapping in with this little, little meter tap, well, the, the CPU usage is, I think, almost zero. Let's see, Let's here's my CPU meter, which is halfway accurate. I don't know how they come up with this junk. But anyway, we'll turn off the tap. All right, so basically zero. So, um, definitely check out this, uh, the spectrograph meter tap concept because it makes it very cool to be able to pick out individual elements. And of course, we can run the stereo bus as well. And what it's going to do is just color um, the different tracks, whatever. So, of course, on the stereo bus, we've already have bass and kick in there. So, like, who knows? But as you can see, almost see. that it's very handy uh, to be able to see these visual colors in regard to how they're all blending. And I think this could be an awesome tool for finding masking and a million other things. So definitely check out Ozone 5 Meter Taps. <laughs>